Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberonen here, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Tomura Shigaraki, the before style version, his original One's Justice 1 version. Um, guys, I never played him in One's Justice 1, but oh my god, he is amazing, he is overpowered, and let's get into his buttons so that I can show it off sooner. So, his regular attack string is this three hitting attack string. Um, I practically never do the third hit intentionally because you don't really get anything off of it. Maybe you can get a plus ultra one, but usually you're not going to do all three hits. In the air, his attack string is this two hitting attack string that looks kind of bad, but it's good because you can easily go into his slow armor attack in the air, and that's its main use. Is that you're always going to go into the armor attack. His armor attacks. On the ground is this boot, you can't combo into it, but you can combo out of it, so if you manage to get it off, you can combo and do whatever you want after it. So, you just use it as a yellow attack that you can easily combo off of, almost like a red attack in that way. You don't combo into it, but you can easily combo out of it. This red attack, as you see here, is kind of similar to a yellow attack. It's a little bit slow, but you can get combos after it, so... Yeah. It does its job as a red attack. His yellow attack in the air, sorry, is this bounce that you saw me do. You can dash cancel after it if you want, and you can combo into it with his regular air attack string. But you can also cancel it into other of his quirk buttons, like his quirk one, like I did there, and that's what we are going to be doing most of the time. Okay. Now we can get into his quirk buttons. So his quirk one is this string. It does four hits and puts the decay effect on them, which just does damage over time. So it ends up doing about 4,000 damage in total. Or 4,500 if you include all the ticks of decay damage. So it's a really damaging combo ender, and it's what you're going to use to end most of your combos because it does a lot of damage and puts the damage over time on them. And it also has a lot of um, hits done when you hit them with it. And even if it meteor blows, which I'll try and show off here, so if it meteor blows, it keeps them right in front of you, which is really good because you can set them up into your puddle. So you're going to use this to end in almost any situation. See, meteor blow, but he's just here. I set up the puddle, and they're trapped after that long combo. So yeah, that's a really good move. You're going to be using it a lot in every game. His tilt quirk one is this interesting. Oh yeah, but his air quirk one is like the same as it is on the ground. His tilt quirk one is this unusual move. It's new to him from One's Justice One. You can combo into it. He like slams onto the ground, and then there's an explosion. You can dash cancel in order to combo off of it, kind of like Rafa's yellow move. But and it does decent damage, but the main use I've found for it is if you actually don't hit the opponent with it, it actually leaves a puddle on the ground. But if they walk into it, it will do an explosion and quite a decent amount of damage. So if you have a buff return to center here, you should walk into it. And there we go. Yeah, it does pretty decent damage, so you can just put them all over the screen. And they will last for quite... Oops. They last for quite a while. So you can just be like placing them on the screen and they'll just be chilling around so the opponent has to be careful of them. As well as your big puddle that you're going to be putting out. But you can only have one of those. So, but you can have a lot of these little ones just around. To really control your opponent and make them scared to run around and stuff because they'll hit these puddles. Um, it does decent damage and you can dash cancel after it. But it's not what you're usually going to use to extend combos, just because you know, they can recover after it, and so it never really gives you a true combo. But you know, it does decent damage, and you could do something interesting with it if you want. But yeah, I use it as a setup too most of the time. Please, please. Okay. Um, he does not have his tilt quirk one in the air. Just letting you know. This quirk two is this really amazing cuddle move, and this is what I would say would probably breaks Tomura. He's this is a really amazing move. It's almost like using a support, because you just pull it out, and then it, it's just there, and it'll do damage. They can walk into it, it's still hurting people, and you can attack while it's out. You can get combos with it, you can extend your combos with it. It does lots of damage. You can use it to set up your 
instant kill grabs. It, it is really, really strong. So, the main two ways you're going to be using it, or anyone's going to be using it, or three ways, I guess, is either just putting it out in the neutral as like a massive hitbox, long-lasting thing. The opponents just make sure they don't run into it, or else you're going to get a full combo if they walk into it. You can also use it as a combo extender, which is really good for doing plus ultra combos. So you can go two hits into the puddle, and then two hits again into the puddle, and then two hits. And that's what you're going to use to um, have grounded combos if you want to do extended combos into your plus ultra. And the same can be said for his plus ultra too. And the final use is that after you've done a long combo that ends in a meaty blow or something, you're going to place it on the ground so the opponent wakes up into it and you have to make them guess what to do. If they jump, they try to like jump out of it, then you jump in the air, and if they jump and do a sidestep, you jump in the air and do a yellow attack. You can jump in the air and do an attack and start your combos if they think they can just jump into the air and attack you. If they try to dash out of the way, you can just like attack them from the ground. It is really strong. If they just block, well then, there's a red move coming at them and you get a full combo from that. So yeah, it's really overpowered. You have to make a read of what your opponent will do, and it's practically a win-win to you if you have to this on the ground when they wake up. And as a meteor blow, as you saw there, if I do it just like after a normal combo, the opponent can recovery out of it, but if it's a meteor blow, they have to wake up and stand in it, and they have to deal with it. So it's a really, really good move for controlling your opponent. Okay, and his tilt quirk 2 is this really amazing move that can lead to this instant hit. Look, that was his entire health bar gone. Now, if you just tap the move, it's not a red move. It just does this little bit of damage. I never use this. I don't see what the point is. You can do it in the air as well. I, it has decent tracking, but there's no point doing it. What you always are going to do is you can hold the button down and wait for it to go red, and you'll see it'll do a countdown from 3 to 1. And once you've gotten... Once it says 1, if you do one more, and it, this applies for in the air as well, the air version, if you get one more after it says 1, it's an instant kill. And your opponent is dead, 100% of their health. It is pretty ridiculous. So yeah, um, and it can be set up, obviously, it really complements it is complemented by this puddle. So if your opponent is scared and you've done this on block or something, and they're standing in this puddle, and they're like, oh, I want to block, well, now you've got the countdown coming. Oh, and this move is just really good for like really villainously like scaring your opponent. Your opponent, if you've hit them with like two of these, they are going to be so terrified every time you get close because they think you're gonna go for the grab. And that's what you really want when you're playing Shigaraki. You want your opponent to be scared and make mistakes because when they they'll be like sidestepping all over the place. And then you put out the puddle, and then they get caught in their sidesteps, and you get to go into a full combo and stuff. He's just... Oh, this is just where he's so dirty. Because you... He's just so terrifying, and I put out the puddle, and they're like, Oh no, I can't just block this. Because now there's only one left, and then they... Oh, it is just so scary, especially when they have one left. Your opponent is just, like, doing all this crazy stuff they never do before, and you can just punish them for it. And, if you are lucky enough, you can't manage to get... <laughs> the 100% command grab off, then, well then you've just instantly killed your opponent and you've won that round. But a lot of the time I don't end up actually getting all uh, four command grabs off in the game, since, especially when there's one left, your opponent is just so scared. But the main reason I use it is just the scare factor. Your opponent, you make them mess up, you make them do things that they normally wouldn't do, and you make them like so scared to come near you because you, they know you've got an instant kill nearly ready so they they're just not ready for it and you can combo into it in some situations as well so it just your opponent is too terrified to do anything once you've done a few of these so that's its main core the uh, main main use um you can also i like to really use it in his mix up a lot so if i do two hits I can hold it down and cancel into that, and then they don't see that coming, because usually I'll just go into the puddle, because it's safe and does a lot of guard pressure. So yeah, usually I'm doing something like this, and I can go into other attacks, and then I've like, broken the guard if I do it like twice. 
they're being too patient. And then I get a combo, because I've just kept on doing that. But then, once in a while, go into this. And then they've gotten hit by a red tie attack. And the same can be said for the air attack. No one expects an, an air grab after an attack in the air. Oh, well now you only have one left, and they are just so terrified. And if I manage to hit them with anything, especially like an all for one spot or anything, and I have a charge up, well they're instantly dead. So, that's unfortunate. Guess you're just gonna have to lose. But yeah, that's a really... His two Quirk 2 abilities, the standing Quirk 2 and the tilt Quirk 2, are really strong. They super complement each other. They're like main parts of his playstyle. They're really, really strong. Anyways, now that we've gone over all of his buttons, I think we can go into his combos. And this is where Shigaraki actually has a lot of options as well, just like some other characters like Bakugo or something. He's combo heavy and has lots of different situations where he can set up for different things. So, high meterless damage that you can get with Shigaraki is if you do two hits, tuttle, two hits, tuttle, two hits into the Quirk 1 string. And this has variable damage, see there, it didn't even meteor blow, and it's going to do about 9000 damage. Sometimes it can do about 9500 damage at the beginning, but it will meteor blow. I think it just depends on how many of the puddle hit, but it just really depends. See that one, Meteor Blow. And yeah, sometimes it does 9000 damage. I guess it just depends on the puddle, or if you're near a wall, it'll do more puddle attacks. Here, I'll try and get him close to the wall. If we do it here, it should do a lot of damage. Oh, okay, he immediately blowed. Okay, so maybe not dead in the corner, because they'll um, get hit by the puddle too many times, immediately blow. But anyways, you're not going to be doing that too often unless you're doing a plus ultra one. So the main combo that you're going to be doing with Shigaraki is one dash cancel, and you do two hits into his quirk one string, dash cancel, two hits, into his arm move, into quirk one again, and it'll meet blow, but that's good. So you dash up, place the puddle down. Um, it doesn't have to be a dash cancel, you can just dash like after the um, thing hits at the end, so it doesn't cost a dash cancel. Sometimes I just like to use a dash cancel to make sure I actually get there in time. So they meet your blow, and you put the puddle down right where they have to wake up, and then they have to deal with whatever you do on their wake up. It's really, really strong tool. Yeah, so Meteor Blow is actually something that you want to be doing with Shigaraki. You want to be doing these big combos that always end in, in a Meteor Blow. Because in a Meteor Blow effect, your opponent can't, um, they can't do a recovery. So they have to wake up and stand in this. And if they try to block, well, you can do a red attack and go into the combo again. And go back into this, and then they have to deal again. If they try to jump out of the way, I'll just jump into the air and do the air portion of my... Um, combo, so like, oh, they tried to jump on Wake Up, and I'll just, like, after the, um, Meteor Blow, I'll just jump in the air, and hit them with this combo, starting from the air. And you just, you end up getting a lot of damage with Shigaraki. If you check out my, um, an online ranked matches that I do with Shigaraki, it should be coming out soon, or maybe it's already out by the time this comes out, you can do, like, over 80% of your opponent's health bar with the one reset and it shows the full red of their bar because they haven't had a chance to do anything so it looks like you've done an 80% combo just from these like crazy resets it's it's really strong stuff and obviously as well if they think they can block it you can go for the grab to instill the fear factor again especially if you only have one left you really make sure you try and go for it you can combo into it and then they're insta dead oh sucks to suck right um yeah, so that's the main combo you're going to be using, is attack, attack, into quirk 1, into dash cancel, two attacks, into the armor attack, into this, and meteor blows, but that's good, and then you go into the puddle, and then you go for your reset. And it's, this is a proper reset in this game, because usually resets, I don't really call resets because the damage scaling effect still is there, so it's like just like it was in the combo. But because there's a meteor blow, or a recovery in the combo, it's a full reset, so you'll get full damage with whatever you can get off of the uh, meteor blow into pud puddle uh, situation. And the combo on itself also does pretty decent damage at 9000, which is a bit below average, but when you take into the effect the amazing mix-ups and like easy, like your opponent can't do anything afterwards, 
it does a lot more than 9,000. It usually does, I would say on total, like if you do it right and you catch your opponent, it can do an easy 18,000 damage. It's really strong. If you catch them trying to jump into the air, they think they'll just jump away or like try and just run away because they're in the puddle. But you just jump into the air and do your attack swing. This, he's really fast in the air. Like, look at this attack. There's no getting away from this in the air. So you just jump into the air, do two hits, on the move, and you've gone into this again. And then we're back where we started, and they're going to try and make a different move. Maybe they're just going to block this time, so I'll go into my red move, and then hit them with that. And then oh, there's just so many mix-ups, and it's so awful and dirty. And on top of this, you have the insta-kill grab, like, counting up throughout the whole game. Every time you get a hit, there's a chance you go into it. So you have this building up. It's just... It's just so strong, and with the resets, your opponent is just so scared to do anything. It's so scary. It fits him so well, because it's so villainous. Um, if you want to do a plus ultra combo, I suggest you do two hits, and two puddle, and two hits, and two puddle, and two hits, and two quad two hits, not the third one, because then you don't get a plus ultra. And then you're getting a lot of damage. Easy peasy. They've been standing, 14,000 damage with a plus ultra, and as you saw there, they're left standing, and you're at advantage, so you're allowed to attack after that. So, you go attack, attack, huddle, attack, attack, huddle, attack, attack, attack. Two, two You can't get a full combo after this, because it'll be in like instant meaty blow, that's why I like to go for this mix. I go two attacks, so it looks like I'm trying to go for a combo, then they're like, oh no, and then they're blocking and stuff, and they're like, whoa, I didn't know that was a restand, and... Because they don't expect the plus ultra to be a restand, they don't expect you to be able to attack afterwards, and they certainly don't expect after all of that, you're going to go into your insta-kill, and they are instantly going to die. Just because you've done this crazy 14,000 14, damage combo to these weird resets with restands. And then all of a sudden, you've used your insta-kill, or charged up your insta-kill, and... This is just another example of how he just instills fear so hard. He's so terrifying, and I love playing it so much, because <laughs> it's a really unique playstyle. You know, there's not many people that have these massive setups and with unblockables and instant kill grabs, for sure. So, yeah, that's basically, it's basically Shigaraki in a nutshell. I don't really use supports too much, I just like having these supports. Because, you know, they can control the neutral, I pull him out on block, and then do this red attack. Also, did I mention how far this red attack goes? Like, I can be over here, and he's just going to leap over and do this possible 100% damage grab to kill. He's just going to leap all the way across the screen and get it. Like, even from over here, it looks like maybe I'm going to go for a puddle or something, you know, because I'm often charging my puddle that has a similar startup. Nope, charge in. Insta-die, possibly, or charge up to the insta-die. It's just so... It's so dirty and so evil, guys. I love it so much. And yeah, when I manage to get a support and I catch him, oh, well, you're dead. Anyways, guys, I'll do his plus ultra 2 combo and I'll end the video here because that's all I have to say about the Shigaraki. He's super strong, super dirty, super cheesy, but so villainous. It's so fun to play him because you really feel like the real guy. He's just so menacing and just like that. The laugh really sums up his entire playstyle. It's just super easy. Make sure you're scaring your opponent absolutely to death. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.